hello, hello. Uh, thank you for uh, your support. I really appreciate it. Today we're gonna be um, doing a sunflower. I already have my canvas prepared uh, with the tape and the thumbtacks. Um, it's gonna be a very, very pretty sunflower. I hope you guys like it. And here we go. First, don't forget to put your glove and your apron to protect yourself. Um, I'm cheating the process a little and I did a little circle there to protect um, the canvas with acrylic because I don't I want to keep an area uh, for black so that will help me out after I painted the little circle there with uh, black acrylic I'm adding um, gold and then I'm, I'm actually going to be adding um, white um, to the whole canvas now um, Basically, I put the I painted the little semicircle with black and then added a, a shade of gold to protect there that area, and then adding white all over. Um, you want I'm gonna be using the spatula to make sure to cover every single area, including the sides. I'm gonna be go uh, go ahead and add a little bit more white um, to make the surface a little bit more even. Um, I'm all about saving painting, so um, I'm very conservative when it comes to it. Um, so I'm just adding just a little bit more to make sure I have a, a level uh, wall cover area for my flower. So now that I have a, a nice even um, area to work, I'm going to torch it and remove all air bubbles that have, I had created moving the painting. I'm going to be adding brown all around that gold that I poured earlier. Um, I'm gonna try to cover a nice air, um, even area. Um, I don't need a lot of brown. Um, and I'm gonna, I want that brown to be mixed a little uh, with, the, uh, with the gold. So I'm gonna create a nice um, semicircle there with the brown. And I'm gonna leave, I'm trying not to leave any space between the gold and the brown. After that, I'm going to add another row of gold and I'm going to put that right in the border of the brown, um, even cover a little bit more to make it like an even, even surface. Um, I'm leaving a little space between that gold and brown and adding a, a, a darker yellow. And then I'm going to use a lighter, brighter yellow and I'm going to put it right in the outside of my print right there. I want to make sure that I don't have a lot of paint, but I have enough painting. Now I'm going to be creating petals with the brown and they don't need to be perfect. They're just going to help me figure out where I'm going to be blowing. Um, since I don't have a bottle for the brown because that one is mixed, I'm going to use, I'm using my spatula um, to create those petals. Um, I'm gonna kind of drip in it a little bit and then I'm gonna be actually dipping my a little bit my uh, spatula into the painting to leave that tray where I need those petals to be. After I have all my petals marked, I'm going to use the, a small big gun and I'm going to pour in the direction of the petal that I created. Um, again, you see, I'm going to 
push the paint from the goal out and create every single petal individually trying to leave a space between them so if they get together i'm pushing the white in to divide them so i'm gonna use um keep putting out mixing all those colors to create a mix all of everything and creating those petals in a way that i like them I'm adding a little bit more paint in the area. I'm trying to fix that petal that I really quite don't like how it finished. Um, I'm trying to fix it as best as I can. Um, I really... No, it's not working for me. You can see it's not working for me. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and I'm, I'm remove that area. Um, I'm trying to fix it. Um, but I'm going to end up removing that area pouring the paint and fixing it so if that were to happen to you um you can try to do kind of like the dust steps that i'm doing here i try to fix it first without removing and scraping the area but it quite didn't work for me um so i end up removing everything and doing it all over and you will be able to see that here Right here you can see like I tried but I, I couldn't so I'm, I'm doing it again but that only shows you that it is okay if it's not looking and area is not looking perfect you can start over you can scrape it down and then you can go for that look that you're looking for so don't give up because something is not quite perfect um when it comes to painting and this type of painting just scrape it out and start all over again in that area and fix that area basically i'm just repeating all the stuff from earlier i'm adding the brown i'm adding the golds i'm adding the yellows and then i'm covering it with the white now i'm gonna go ahead and create those two petals that i remove so i'm using my brown um, to give the shape of those um, two petals that i need to redo Now that I have everything, I'm going to go ahead and concentrate on doing those two petals. Um, same, same thing that I did earlier, I'm blowing from my golds to my browns um, out to create the petal and giving the shape. Using um, that blower, um, like the heat gun, like is my paintbrush. I'm going to give it all the details that I want in the whole painting and uh, make sure that I'm, i mix to the middle i'm using the gold and the brown to mix it all together um, i'm gonna be adding the black and then i'm gonna be doing the same thing uh, and um, kind of mixing it a little bit but leaving um, leaving it there um, adding here a little bit of brown where i feel i need it um, and you do the same thing if you feel in an area and it's a little bit more help you go ahead and and fix it there add the painting that you need and do everything that you need to make the painting yours so 
so I'm ready for my black. I'm gonna go ahead and add my black right there. Um, like you can see, it stopped the, the, it took over a little bit, but it stopped the painting very well, leaving me the area that I want the black to be on for my flower. I'm covering everything, making sure everything is covered, but I'm also gonna use a spatula to create, uh, in a circle motion, um, mix the edges of my black with, it, with my gold and my brown. And I'm gonna repeat this multiple times until I'm happy with the design. I'm also doing this to make sure I have like a very, sem very semi silk over there and define that area a little bit more. Now I wanna create a little bit more dimension in the end of my petals. So I'm not gonna use the blower. I'm, I'm literally gonna be uh, using my mouth to blow into the painting in some areas that I want a little bit, um, a little bit of more definition and mix of the colors and wider in some areas. And blowing it with my mouth will help me uh, stay um, where I need to stay with the painting. Uh, and not the blower, the blower will be too much power for what I'm looking for here. So I'm just blowing with my mouth, I'm fixing everything that needs to be fixed um, to create that final look that I want on my painting. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.